Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Go In English Teacher. Today, an interesting personality is here. He's a teacher of elementary school. Please introduce yourself, sir. Yes, uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, yeah, so this is Hive, and uh, I'm from West Bengal. And uh, professionally, I'm doing a job as a primary school teacher. And it's been all seven years I've been doing a job as a school teacher. Please explain your uh, learning journey. Okay, okay. Uh, before uh, explaining about my English journey, I would like to know from your side about your introduction. This is uh, Dondra, teacher of English language. I'm a government school teacher and I have been working as a teacher for the last 25 years. I'm a mentor, motivation speaker and software trainer and also a small YouTuber like you. Yeah, I think I came to know that you're also a YouTuber, yeah. Okay, now it's nice uh, to uh, meet you because you are also a teacher and uh, I like teacher. Teacher is the backbone of education. Teacher is the backbone of our country. So I all the time like teacher. So, uh, okay, so let's uh, back into the, that question you asked me. Okay. That uh, about my English journey. So, uh, as far as my English journey is concerned, uh, I started my English journey three years ago. Uh, actually, that was the time of COVID-19. So, at that time, uh, one day I actually was uh, sitting at my home. So, all of a sudden, I got a YouTube videos like this type of conversational videos. And I watched that videos uh, and then I got motivated uh, because that video was made by learners. So uh, I thought uh, if uh, they uh, they can speak in English by using their smartphone. So why not I? So actually, and another most important uh, thing is that English uh, was already in my mind uh, because uh, I have a dream uh, from my childhood that uh, one day I would be a good speaker in English and uh, I, I would actually deliver a speech in front of public. So uh, these all things actually inspired me a lot. And uh, at, you know, two months after that uh, incident, so actually, I went to a bank. So uh, at that bank, uh, I was standing over there and there was a person uh, who was sitting over there and uh, who was talking on the call in English. Uh, because at that time, actually, he had lost his ATM card and uh, he called his uh, you know, authorities, like banking authorities, if, and because of uh, he wanted to block his ATM card because he has already lost his ATM card. So I, you know, at that time I observed, I observed him very carefully and noticed him that, wow, how beautiful, you know, uh, he spoke, he was speaking. So, you know, in these three things actually, uh, you know, inspired me a lot. So I started my English journey. Uh, but at that time, I didn't know anything. To be honest, I didn't I didn't know anything how to start, what to start, and uh, at that time, I didn't know. You know, I I couldn't speak even two sentences in English. But uh, you know, gradually, gradually, I got to know many things, and uh, I learned many things, and still I'm learning. And right now I can speak English without any problem, without any hesitation, without any fear. Yeah, this is uh, my journey in English. Because many people and they came to the importance of English language in some situations. So situations are also very important to, to enhance, to acquire English language learning skills. So I think English is essential not only for the purpose of professionalism, the situation when you faced in a uh, bank that make you to learn English language. Okay, so no pain, no gain. Because sometimes our better experience also uh, a great, uh, plays a vital role. Our experience also a great teacher. Our experience uh, teaches uh, more than what teachers uh, uh, teach because sometimes we'll be motivated uh, by the situations. So what are the suggestions that you are going to give the new learners, uh, beginners? You know, many people want to learn English language. 
and uh, please share your experience and uh, what are the things one has to follow to be a good communicator to be a good speaker yeah please at first uh, i would like to tell all the new english learner that uh, how how much they are motivated how much they are determined to their english language because sometimes what happen uh, they actually start english language but they are not that much interest of english language uh, that much determined of english language so what happen after a few days after starting a few days they give up they don't have that much interest uh, about english so at first they need to decide that uh, if they are real interest if they are really determined of uh, learning english so they can start and they only they can learn english otherwise can't uh, because in our environment what happen suppose uh, i am a person and um, i have a friend so uh, he can speak english so that's why i also start english but i don't have any determined determination any interest of uh, learning english so how can i actually you know go along how can i actually achieve my goal this is not uh, actually uh, his goal his purpose so at first they need to uh, decide that this is my goal this is my determination or this is my purpose of purpose or not so if they uh, can decide that yeah this is my determination this is my interest that uh, i would like to learn english so that or those learners can learn english so this is one thing and another most important thing that uh, as you told like uh, how can they start so uh, in my point of view in my uh, experience of uh, three years experience of learning so i can say uh, at first they need to start learning basic grammar okay like tense i think uh, tense can cover 60 to 70% of speaking english because yeah. most of the time we uh, use uh, tenses in speaking english so they can cover this like basic uh, grammar portion and after that they can start speaking in english and another most important uh, all the time i uh, say to learners that four things it's you know really matter to learn english that is l s r w yeah l means listening and uh, s means speaking r means reading and w means writing these four are really really matter for improving our english and past and for most important thing that is listening listening is the most important uh, aspect most important thing for learning english uh, because if we don't listen so we can't understand actually actually how our co-partner or opponent actually they are saying they are you know, trying to make us understand in english so uh, first we need to listen more and more that uh, we can understand in english and then second thing is that practice speaking uh, because ultimate our main purpose is speaking not yeah. doing any other listening or writing or reading our ultimate purpose is speaking so we we do uh, writing reading or listening because of one thing that is speaking so these three things actually facilitate these three things facilitate to uh, speaking is better way so our ultimate purpose is speaking so after listening we have you when know, we have to start speaking and third thing is that reading reading is also really matter because sometimes if we read loudly so we can actually pronounce very good that word and as well as we can get some new new structures that is used in you know books or newspapers so we can get new new structures and we can understand that why this type of structures are used here so these are uh, really good and the last is writing here yeah, writing is also a skill uh, because in writing when you write something we can get time to think and to write in proper way because when you speak something at that time we don't get enough time to think in our mind to actually you know make a structure good way because we have to speak fast because we don't have enough time to think so 
when we actually write something so we can get enough time to write and think and we can also use new new words vocabulary in uh, writing and in this way i think this writing skill also facilitates to increase our speaking so i think in these three uh, four steps if anyone follow at the beginning beginning time so they can definitely achieve their goals achieve their visions that that's all about my point of view about my perspective uh, thank you sahib for your uh, wonderful uh, explanation experience regarding uh, english learning you have touched the four important uh, uh, factors about uh, learning language lsw nice good wonderful sir thank you for coming to my live